Hello and welcome back to Rome Total War, Skippy Eye Campaign, doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. And today we're going to continue our campaign against uh, Pontus in the east, Spain and Gaul in the west, and Numidia down here in the south, which is northern Africa. Let's get started. Alright, I'm going to start things off by getting Secundus over here to take on these rebels. And just some uh, Thracian mercenaries and hoplites. Let's go. All right. Well, uh, I took quick, made quick work of them. However, I did suffer a lot of casualties, uh, not from them, but from friendly fire because they were uphill and my archers were firing into the backs of my infantry. But uh, still, victory. All right. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. All right, well, another suitable husband. However, he's a drill master, so we're not going to do it. We're not going to take him. All right, they want us to take Tarsus, which is this another tiny town that I was going to leave to the Brutii, but I guess I'll go ahead and take it. But it will have to wait. Okay, another... Um, Coming of age over here, we've got Asinius, and he's a really good manager. He's got four management, two influence. He's calm, careful with money, benevolent, stern, and understanding of tactics. Wow, he's really good. Not sure where to put him. We've got I've got uh, Decimus over here, which I was moving into Lilybium. And now if you take take a look at my settlements, uh, all my top settlements have governors now. The next biggest city would be Sparta with uh, just 7,900 people. It's the biggest city without a governor. But I might be able to um, upgrade one of these cities with a better governor. Let's take a look at all my governors. So Quintus is really good. All this over here is pretty decent. Yeah, all my governors seem to be pretty good. At least on management. Um, Thapsis, that's the worst. It would be Secundus over here. And um, I might get him over to Thapsis. So Thapsis is pretty big city. Yeah, I'll get him over to Thapsis and maybe have Secundus just be lead up some military assault. Although I'm wrapping things up, I don't want to send any more generals out to the frontiers. I actually want to start recalling them, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put him. Maybe um, into a smaller city. We're getting... We only got three offices now. Um, we do have the Pontifex Maximus, which is like the highest office. Um, looks like they started giving them out to other of the Ju other uh, Roman factions like the Julii and the uh, Brutii. But we got the top two positions. Julianus, who's our faction leader, and Quintus. But they're really old, so I'm worried that they're going to die soon and uh, then we're going to be hurting in our economy because we need those guys to be, because they're our best governors. Well, we completed the... Uh, mission to blockade Sinope and now they want us to take Tarsus so I'm guessing this Secundus is gonna have to go down there and take Tarsus we'll have to wait on Sinope we got another army over here I'm gonna send my actually send my scout out to check him out see what they've got here uh, just some uh, mercenaries spearmen not great troops they do have the sarmatian heavy cav and the pontic heavy cav as well as the family member so some decent cavalry in this army let's take a look at what secundus has not too great in the in terms of cavalry i'm gonna go ahead and um combine the armies all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh, attack this army next turn and then um, we'll have this mar army march down to Tarsus, and I'll have uh, Marcellus. Well, he's going to finish off Mazaka this turn, I believe. 
So let's go ahead and do that. We will take on uh, Mazaka. What do they got over here? Their faction leaders got 91 bodyguards, uh, an Eastern Infantry, a Hillman, and Onagers. Curious to see how well they'll do Onagers on a siege defense. All right, I'm gonna start by uh, sending my archers forward. And then the Cretan archers behind them. Get this group up front. And I'm going to go ahead and send my rams. Looks like they're already launching their onagers at us. Let's uh, see if I can target them with my archers. They got them right up front. They're We should be able to take them out pretty quickly. Thankfully, they were so close. They are going to get a couple shots off. And bam, they just hit uh, Cretan archers. Okay, they're down to 15, 14. They're going to get another shot off. They're shooting fire arrows. Missed. All right. They're down to three guys. I don't think they can operate it anymore. Can they with just three? Yeah, I don't think they can operate it with just one guy, so we'll just leave them there. And we'll start firing at their Eastern Infantry. Let me make sure these guys hold their fire, get them back. Yeah, unfortunately, they hit a direct hit with one of their onager and killed a bunch of Cretan archers and some Roman archers. So that that's too bad. We're hitting their uh, Eastern Infantry with our archers. They got their heavy cav over here, their general. I'd love to be able to hit them with my archers. They're coming back for another round with their spearmen. Looks like they're General's bodyguard is backing off, heading back to the town square, so we'll have to get into the city soon. Alright, moving into the city. I'll get my cavalry a little bit closer. But keep my archers out for now. See if they send their general after me, looks like. He's just gonna camp in the uh, town square. Alright, I'm going to try to draw them out. I'm going to send the smallest group of Cretan archers up. No, they didn't take the bait. Uh, let's... I'm not going to sacrifice. Let's just get some regular Roman archers out there instead. Alright, they're slowly moving forward. I don't know if they're just repositioning or if they're going to come after me. We're not in range yet. But they are moving towards me. Alright, we've managed to kill one. And they're not ch chasing after us just yet. Okay, now there's some movement. And these guys are heavily armored. We can't do much damage to them. All right, let's head back. Let's go. I don't want to run too far because I want to keep luring them back. So I'll just run a little bit, fire some arrows, and run again. They're just slowly marching up, even though we're not doing much damage. I want to get them into the by the main gate and surround them. Okay, there's another casualty. All right, run. Let's go. Getting closer. Attack! They've stopped, so we'll go ahead and fire again. All right, killed two more. All right, let's back off.
And they're in range of my Cretan archers, so let's get them back. They should come all the way now, since my Cretan archers are firing. Alright, they're now in missile range. I mean, they're throwing their missiles at us. Got my equites over here. They're gonna be doing a flanking maneuver, but they're. I kind of waited a little bit too long to start that, but we killed most of them with just our Cretan archers. So let's get cavalry moving. Killed their general with just an archer. And yeah, let's uh, charge. If we can kill the rest of them. Get my equites back. Let's see if I can go around them. All right, and then we got them. We only lost forty. Pretty good siege. All right, gonna enslave the population. Get my spy over into Sinope over here. Another onager in this city. A little bit more defenses. Let's go ahead and take down this uh, temple. Replace it with the temple of Saturn. Looks like we're dealing with a little bit of unrest after demolishing the temple. We're gonna be at 70% public order. We're retraining our army, we're gonna get a couple of peasants. It should uh, slow down over time. This shrine to Saturn will give us 10% next turn. So we should be okay. Alright, let's get nice over here to catch up with this uh, Numidian army. Looks like we're one turn away. Gonna blockade Numidian's port. So they can't do any more trading. I don't know where that Spanish army went. I think uh, I'm going to move Queso up a little cautiously. We'll just get him onto the bridge. I think I'll go ahead and attack this city over here. It's not too bad, actually. Um, they've got a couple... they got four cavalry units. The, the toughest unit, of course, is going to be this uh, their faction leader. But uh, we should be able to handle it. Let's go. All right, let's get my archers forward first. Actually, get my archers and slingers forward. They're all lined up here, so it should be easy pickings for my slingers. And well, I don't know if my slingers can lob it over the fences. My archers will definitely be able to. I should get a lot of kills here with my archers. Alright, I'm gonna get my rams forward. I'm hitting these skirmishers over here with my archers. I won't have to deal with them after I get in the city. Alright, got the gates open. I'm gonna get my infantry in. Moving my cavalry in too. Because we've got some skirmishers and peasants over here, so I want to try to flank them. Alright. Let's go ahead and charge. Looks like we're fighting a little bit sooner than I had hoped for. Let's 
like they're defending the gates. I'm gonna have my missiles hold their fire because we're doing a lot of friendly fire. Well, actually, no. Looks like they backed off, so let's uh, have everyone halt, I think, and try to get organized. Get my cavalry to do some flanking over here. Or not. Just ignore my orders. That's great. Let's just get him to charge in. Let's get my infantry just to take this hill. Double time. got over here skirmishers go take these guys out I thought I thought they would be dealt with by now I guess not there's a lot of them what are these cavalry's doing go back get down don't charge their general's bodyguard All right, what's going on here? The general's bodyguards charging my equites are charging. It's kind of chaotic. There's a lot of general's bodyguards. 67 left, but they're routed. They're routed. Or had they more backbone? We killed them. King has been killed. This will surely make his followers waver. Everybody halt. We're not ready to go in yet. Let's just uh, make sure we do this. Make sure we get our infantry in there. Let's get our archers, our missiles up here okay they've still got 30 generals bodyguards let's go ahead and uh, surround him okay he's retreating so we'll get these guys to halt reform up halt halt Halt. Halt. I think there's no choice but just to have everybody charge in here. Surround them. Try to surround them. They're doing a lot of casualties to us in the town square because they can't route in the town square. All right, let's get them surrounded. Is everybody charging? Hopefully, my general will be okay. Just four guys left. Just some peasants left. Let's go. The enemy show their. All right, we took 400 casualties. That's not the worst. Let's. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and enslave the population. All right, another city. We're not able to take care of the public order this turn. I've recruited as many peasants as I can. Retraining a lot of guys. All right, I'm gonna get uh, Publius Victor over here to march out. Let's have him build a watchtower. There's that army that I was looking for. So let's get Queso over here. 
Publius should be able to handle him. Yeah, no problem. Prepare for battle. Build well, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. So our finances, we are uh, making a little bit of money. We weren't able to do a lot of construction last turn. We had to skip a turn because um, we just didn't have enough money. But uh, hopefully this turn we'll be able to do more building. Uh, I've noticed that it looks like the Julia are finally moving out against Gaul. So that probably will mean that this city, Aretium, will start to grow again. It's at 22,788. And you have uh, Croton over here, which is at 2,987. And let's take a look at... Oh, I can't get into Rintum, but I can... Look at it, 21,850. Get back into Croton. So, yeah, they haven't triggered the Marian reforms yet. Uh, so we still have time. I have no idea what the Broody Eye are doing. They have so many soldiers over here. It's just crazy. I wish they would hit these rebels. They, they were on my lands, and now they're on the Broody Eye territory. But I wish they, the Broody Eye would take care of them. Uh, we do have some rebels yes, over here. Master. I do happen to have an army here that I was chasing after Dacia with and building watchtower. So I'm going to go ahead and construct a watchtower up here and then get him to target this guy. These guys are all upgraded. Well, except for the Illyrian mercenaries. Let's go ahead and uh, just march him back. We're going to start preparing for the Civil War pretty soon. So he's going to be part of that preparation. Let's get service. moving up on to Spain. I'm going to spy on this Search guy. Service. That's their faction leader. We'll probably take him out this turn. Secret Let's get our spy secret. towards their last city. Let's get uh, Publius to attack their uh, faction leader. Looks like a lot of infantry, a few cavalry, some war dogs and skirmishers. Nothing we can't handle. All right, I got my troops lined up over here on the right because there's a little bit of a hill over here. So let's just uh, let's get marching out over this direction. I'll keep my cavalry on my left flank. Let's get my general up here in the center. Looks like they are retreating. Let's see what I can take out. We've got some uh, Iberian infantry over here. Try to do this with minimal losses. So let's get these guys. Let's uh, try to surround them, get them to route as soon as possible. All right, let's go charge them. Ah, they're not surrounding them. They're pretty much hitting them dead on. All right, those guys are broken. Let's uh, just try to get the next group we can. Managed to kill 7%. We've only lost a handful of guys, so. Okay. All right, we only killed the one unit. Uh, we got 160 kill, we only lost 10. And they uh, retreated. We'll see where they end up. I don't, hopefully not all the way back into their capital Victory! Uh, I didn't see where he went Orders. let's uh, get marching out maybe we can get visibility Onward. Move depleted, sir. where'd he go oh okay over here by the docks yeah I fleet. forgot I, I don't know if I moved this fleet out last turn aye, aye, we do have uh, some pirates sir. here that are actually pretty decent size all right we'll have to get him next turn um what to do with scalabus and also queso over here i think i want to move a small contingent over let's just get queso on the move to reinforce take on these rebels reinforce um publius and then uh, once I get a little bit more public order over here, 
What do we got? We got the Sacred Grove of Abnoba. If I demolish it, it'll go down to 70% public order. I could do that. Um, I do want to retrain up as many units as I can. And then we'll move out probably next turn. Okay, we're down to 70% because uh, I had to cancel the production of those peasants. All right. 70% is not too bad. I think we can survive that for a turn. It probably won't riot, especially since we're getting a peasant next turn. A lot of unrest here. A lot of distance penalty. So it's hard to maintain a big population out here. All right, let's go ahead and fight with this uh, Numidian faction here. Ah, that's going to have to wait till next turn. All right, I'm going to get Secundus over here and attack this Pontus army. Engage the enemy. Victory! All right, they got th 1,300 guys. All right, they've got some infantry, some cav, and onagers. Let's go. All right, we've got some absolute mountains over here that we have to climb. Absolutely crazy. Hopefully we'll be able to rest our guys when we get up to the top. And they do have onagers, so I've got to be careful of that. And they've got enough cavalry that makes me worried about trying to hit those onagers with the cavalry strike. Especially since I only have three cav. Got to get my guys up the mountain first. Alright, they're adjusting their position to to face me when I get to this top of this hill. Are they already in missile range? Oh, they're already in missile range. My cavalry's getting clobbered. Let's send them down the hill for now. They've got Scythian missile cav. Yikes. This is like the ultimate defensive position right here. I should have approached from the other side. That would have been way better. But we're getting uh, eaten alive over here by these uh, missiles. And our guys are already exhausted just trying to climb this hill. We're not going to be able to rest because they have just these, these uh, missiles. Yeah, we're already exhausted. We might as well run. Oh man, the range is just crazy because they're up on the mountains. Even though I've already moved all the way onto the other side. But they just can fire downhill. Incredible range. I've already lost like... What is it? 2%. We're almost up here. Alright, let's get our infantry in position. Yeah, it looks like um, they've adjusted their positions. Uh, I didn't mean to get so close with my cavalry. Look at their archers. Oh, we've already routed. I didn't mean to get so close. Shoot. I wonder if I can rally them. I did not mean to get so close. All right, my infantry's getting in position. We now have the high ground over here, but my guys are absolutely exhausted. Oh, my equity's routed again. And we're a little bit trapped over here. But my infantry's about to be in range. Let's go ahead and start firing at their Scythian mercenaries. Okay, we're finally firing back with our archers. Uh, pause it. They're charging my general. I don't want that. Let's get these guys out of here. Alright. Infantry. Okay, this heavy cav just routed. Let's get our infantry forward and just start attacking them. 
Okay, good. They've stopped chasing my cavalry. They provided a good distraction, although they were really hit pretty heavily. All right, here we go. Man, our guys are so exhausted. Oh, I didn't realize they had guys down here. So, we're doing okay up here, but we've got these guys down here. Let's help them out. Are we routed? No, they're routing. Our Hastati are holding firm. Nice. Go. These guys routed. That's a surprise. They had us surrounded. Make sure my missiles are... Let's go after their heavy cav. And here's their general thrown at our, our, our cavalry. Let's continue pushing forward with our infantry. Okay, here comes their general. Hopefully we can be able to kill him. Got 56 guys. Oh no! Oh no! How did he die? Secundus died. Oh no! We lost our general. Well, hopefully our whole army doesn't route now. No, we're routing. We had them one. Ah, that was so surprising. Hopefully our general's bodyguard can get revenge. Okay, they're routed. He's gonna get away. Their general's gonna get away. We killed 82%. Oh, that's awful. Man. I didn't really expect that. He was not... I mean, I guess he was going after... Who was it? Was it... Was it these, uh, was it Eastern Mercenaries? That w I don't think he was... Oh man, I should have paid more attention to my general. He had 45 guys when he died. Still had a lot. We'll have to get this general another turn. At least we won the battle. These, uh, the terrain was just terrible. This is just awful terrain for fighting. Alright, well, they have 80 men left. We only lost 375, so... It wasn't like we got destroyed. I just sent my general out there, like... So dumb of me. Oh, well, what can you do? He was a decent general, too. Okay, well going to be replaced here with Captain Titus. Alright, we'll take him. What do we got left? Oh, I didn't kill their onagers. Their onagers managed to get away. And of course, their faction air only has two bodyguards left. Somehow he survived. Ah, oh, poor Secundus. So, our new general over here, Titus over here, he's going to have to go and... Um, I'm thinking just, uh... We'll just go and hit Sinope, maybe. Oh, I think I already had a spy here, didn't I? Yeah, I already did. Yes. I should have sent him down to Tarsus. Yes. Um, I think I'll wait another turn before moving out. And then uh, split up my forces between 
taking Tarsus and Sinope. And we'll get Titus to besiege Sinope. They'll take him two turns. Three turns. Wow. And how long? Okay, I should get an army here just to besiege Sinope. Uh, is Marcellus a decent governor as far as uh, public order? Three turns to get to Sinope. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and have Marcellus go ahead and uh, besiege uh, Sinope. And I probably will get Titus to go hit Tarsus in three turns. I think I have enough of an army to take on Sinope. Um, and uh, I had to leave a bunch of troops here for public order in Mazaka. All right, I'm going to get Asinius over here to be the governor of Thapsus. So let's get him on this boat and send him out. And then we've got a couple of Triarii over here. I'm going to go s send them to the east and get them trained up. So I've got this army over here, which I'm going to get up to po Poralism, where I train up my guys. I could actually start training my guys up here in Masana. I'm getting, but I'll have to get the awesome temple. Let's see, the awesome temple of Vulcan. Yeah, I need to get this awesome temple of Vulcan after I get the armorer. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Dacia and Spain are allies. Well, Dacia won't be around for much. I mean, Spain won't be around for much longer. Been uh, building a little bit more academies, trying to improve my leadership with my governors. Although I don't think Corinth, I mean Sparta, has a governor right now. Okay, a couple of coming of ages. We got Julianus, Scipio, mildly extravagant, careful with money, fluent speaker, inferior engineer, and superior builder. So a bad engineer, but a good builder. Interesting. And who else? Caius Scipio and he is stern outstanding speaker confident commander weak chinned no taste for blood okay all right well we lost 95 income last turn probably because of all of our recruitment I'm gonna get my spy into the Spanish capital all right, I'm going to say ignore the Spanish faction leader, march around him, try to take the city. All right, let's see if we can hit these rebels this turn. Nope, we're going to have to wait. And then um, interest, it'll be interesting to see what uh, the Spanish faction leader does. And we got these rebel pirates. I wonder if we could beat them in battle. Seven to four ratio. Good, we won. Nice, and sunk him. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and take on this Libyan army. Finally got, I mean this Numidian army. Finally was able to reach them. Let's go ahead and fight them. Alright, I don't have any archers in this army, so I'm just going to have to march forward and take on their, uh, take them on with my infantry. I do have some Velites. Let's uh, go ahead and go after their general's bodyguard. Send our Triarii forward. Let's move our infantry forward. Let's get our cavalry back. They're way too wide. Let's get them in the, the rear to protect our rear. Oh, we're already engaging. Let's go. Okay, their general backed off. Let's back off. Okay, just kind of crazy over here. Let's go attack. Let's get my general out of this. I don't want to lose another general after the last battle. Let's get my 
cavalry to charge them. I'm gonna take on these uh, We still got their general's bodyguard Okay, we got the general and now his men fear us. Let's go. They routed. The enemy arm All right, not too bad. We only lost 258. Killed over a thousand. Man, it's gonna take five turns just to reach their capital. I don't even know if it's worth it at this point. Sure. Just maybe keep a small garrison in Cyrene over here, and. Well, it's going to take me five turns just to get back to the port. Yeah. Just get back to the city over here. I wonder if I can make peace with Numidia. Let's get a diplomat. Let's see if we can make peace. I'm going to get my cavalry just to move on their own. Make it a little bit faster. And we'll get this, uh, we'll get Nias back in time for the Civil War. And this army might have to be stationed here for a while. Alright, I, th I think I'm going to have uh, Marcellus Victor go ahead and hit Sinope. And we got open gates. And just wooden walls over here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and assault. They do have the honors, got to be careful. And archers. But I've got four archers myself. Let's go ahead and try it. Yep. Let's go. Let's take some nope. All right, let's start my battle. Let's get all my archers to go ahead and target the onagers first thing. And I want to get them in loose formation. Oh no, they got our Illyrians. Let's do loose formation. Oh, they just took out a Roman archer. Okay, we are we are wounding him. Down to twelve guys. They hit our Illyrians again. Down to two. All right. think yeah pretty sure okay we wipe those guys out we'll take the phalanx next I guess all right I think that's enough I'm gonna have my archers hold their fire we'll get our infantry in the gates it's gonna take them a while because they're pretty far away because I needed to keep them far away from the onagers. Uh, let's actually have them march. I don't want to get, get them too tired. Just the two spearmen left. Should be able to take them out pretty easily with our infantry. And then um, I'll probably try to set some sort of trap over here. Put a couple infantry over here, a couple infantry over here. Cretian archers, Cretian archers and deal with this Pontus. I'm not gonna send anybody over here. Well, maybe get my cab over here. The two cavalry over here. Yeah, I'll do that. They do have uh, another group of infantry. Oh, they ha do have archers themselves, so I have to be careful when setting up my trap. I'll be hit by their archers. All right, looks like they are marching after me. They got some Eastern infantry. We should be able to take them pretty easily with our hoplites if they ever get in position here. And get our missiles to target them right now. All right, they're routed. All 
Okay, looks like their heavy cab just hit our equites while we were setting everything else up. I I don't feel good about this one. Well, it says the enemy's wavering. Got two to one, two units to one. Looks like we did win that without with very few losses. So uh, I'm kind of surprised, and they hit me while I was uh, prepping my other attack. All right, that went worked out well. All right, here comes their general. I think he's gonna hit this army over here on the left. I have, should be able to get my guys surrounding him if I can form up just right. Or maybe he's going straight on against my hoplites. Let's have these guys just go ahead and start firing at will. Alright, if I can get him to attack my hoplites, they might be able to hold, especially if I have these my infantry as backups. They do have their missiles. They are a missile cab, so they're going to do some damage before they get to us. But we've got our missiles too. Here they come. Alright, let's charge my principes in here. Let's get my general up here for support. Let's get these guys moving too. Because I know hoplites can't stand against Pontus heavy cab. Not the mercenary hoplites, they're just too weak. Alright, we got their general. Oh, I did not mean to get my general involved. Let's get... Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, let's get our Hastadis formed up. I think I'm going to get these armies moving down this way, too. And my Equites, here we go. The Pontus attacking again. But they should route pretty quickly if they route, since they routed last time. Yep, and they're only down to nine guys. Oh wow, I wiped them out. Let's get our cavalry over here a little bit closer for the final assault. All right, just advancing up along this corridor. Let's get these guys moving up too. All right, here comes their missile cab. I'm gonna send this our infantry to attack. These are heavy cab back here, so I can't. I don't think I want to send my equites out just yet. Let's go ahead and send my our infantry forward. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do a surround with my cavalry getting my infantry forward archers firing let's get my equites to hit their uh... their light cav back here let's get one unit to swing back and attack the heavy cav there's only sixty three of them left they are taking quite a bit of hit if they route, I don't think this. I think this sm only the smaller ca square counts. So I think we can route their whole army now. Of course, they're not routing. Let's go. Looks like they're gonna fight to the last man. Two guys left. Those two phalanx over here. Alright, not bad. Not a bad siege. Just 305 lost. That's really good. I think I'm getting a little better at sieges. And another city to enslave. A lot of people over here. Uh, even at uh, low taxes. 
We're only at 20%. Maybe I should have exterminated the city. They have 12,000 people. Uh, what is the shrine? Yeah, let's go ahead and destroy that and get Saturn up right away. And I'm going to just train up as many peasants as I can. That only gets us to 30%. This city might riot. We might lose this city to, to rebels. Yeah, we might have to take this city again. I'm going to go ahead and just retrain my army instead of taking them out. Instead of training peasants. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to merge as much as I can without losing any units. Alright, let's take a look at the Julii. Looks like uh, they're up to 23,000. Just 1,000 away before being able to build the next level, the Imperial Palace. And over here in Croton, 23,267. Looks like the Broodii are growing a little bit faster. It's weird, they're both negative population growth, but they keep growing. I wonder if that's just the benefit of the very hard difficulty level. Or if they're disbanding troops, because I don't think they've taken any settlements within the last 20 turns to be getting population from slavery. I just think it's been way too long. The Broody, I've got another large stack over here. So it looks like the Julii, they might be marching out on Gaul. We have this army over here and this one over here. They don't have any generals. Um, I don't know where their generals went. I saw them not too long ago. I wonder if they got assassinated because there's a lot of uh, assassins over here. Gaul has assassins, so they might have been assassinated. I'm going to get a spy over here in Asuka just to protect uh, Lucius over here. Or Luca over here. Yeah, I don't know what to do about Sinope over here. We're at 20% public order. I've trained up some of my guys. I'm actually getting an Equites next turn. Um, I might just let it riot and uh, sack it again. This time exterminate the population. It's just so far away from my capital. The public order is going to just be terrible. So I'm getting my Equites back. I want to hit the Pontic Factioner with just a cavalry force. Have them ride out. I think this army is really weak. This uh, factionary, I'm sure his numbers are growing every turn, though. And then we'll take eventually take Tarsus. And hopefully in the next episode, we'll finish off our frontiers and be able to uh, prepare for the Civil War. All right, I'm going to put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.